to pay your cable bill. Time Warner customers are receiving notices telling them to expect a charge of nearly $4 a month to rent your modem. Jennifer Lukey has the real deal tonight and how the company is justifying what it's calling a lease fee. If you're an internet or digital phone customer with Time Warner, starting this month, you're getting hit with the fee. Well, it's not like it's a new system coming in. I guess you can replace it if you possibly call them, but otherwise it just doesn't seem right when you pick a service and you pick it for a certain price that you're going to be charged more. I think that's outrageous. I think, uh, you know, we pay enough for cable. Why should we have to pay for a modem? A spokeswoman for the company tells CBS 6 the extra 48 bucks a year per customer will, quote, allow us to service or replace the equipment, provide a better user experience, and further enhance our Internet services. Time Warner has charged lease fees for set-top boxes for many years now, so this was a likely next step. They say other Internet service providers charge similar fees to lease modems. If you don't want to pay the monthly fee, you can buy your own modem, but it has to be on time. Time Warner's list of approved devices, most of which are Motorola and start at around $80. You have to average it out. We have two in the house, and so, you know, if it's cheaper to buy a modem in, within a year, then I guess that's the way I would go. Just this week, though, two class action lawsuits have been brought against Time Warner for this new fee. Today, we spoke with one of the attorneys handling the case. They had an expectation under the company's customer agreements that they wouldn't pay for these modems. We want the company to abide by that. If they want to change and have a new policy with new customers, that's a different story. Something I thought was interesting of reading through parts of your lawsuit was the, the fact that you think, or I don't know what you have to back this up, though, that much of that equipment had already been written off. The company doesn't expect to get any money back on it. They've written it off. Yet here they are just looking for a revenue source. You're talking about a lot of money. On an individual basis, sure, $4.00. It's not going to kill the average consumer, but it adds up for the company to $500 million a year. That's our estimate. It's a tough pill for many customers to swallow. Everything with them, it's, uh, you know, you're paying for this, paying for that. You know, it's, it, I, I feel like I am being nickeled and dimed. Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News. Digital phone customers are able to buy their own modem if you don't want to rent, but you still have to get a piece of hardware from Time Warner in order to make the modem compatible with the phone service. The cable company claims that it will offer that technology at no cost.